million dollars, 20 mil, house on the hill, a Lamborghini in the driveway, fly first class both ways, both ways. see the world when I want to, when I want shopping to. sprees when I want to, when investments I want to. with interest a show do, and that'll do, $5,000 on the hotel stay. Hey guys, welcome back to the Ziggy Eats show. Yes, welcome back guys. <laughs> guys, as you can see today, we've got an all grill plate. Um, if you guys saw on Sunday, on Father's Day. Yes, episode two of Grilling with Ziggy. Exactly. Ziggy grilled up this fabulous meal. I did my best. <laughs> <laughs> that we're gonna have. Um, do you wanna tell them what we had since you grilled it? Sure. Grilled boneless chicken breast and grow zucchini and we have some i made this so awesome. yeah. <laughs> this is just some marinated tomatoes um i had a few tomatoes left over so i decided to make um like a quick little marinated tomato salad um it's marinated in some balsamic vinegar um olive oil garlic basil salt pepper i poured off all the juices um because it's been marinating like an hour so I poured off all the juices so we don't have it pooling in here. But yeah, guys, that's about it. Yes, guys. And so we're keeping it nice and healthy. You ready to dig in? Sure. Nice and healthy. Let's see how he did on this zucchini. Mm -hmm. mm. Really good. Nice and tender. Cooked really all the good. way through. Mm -hmm. Yes, great flavor. Yeah. And guys, um... If you haven't watched that episode yet, please go ahead and um, watch it. Uh, if I remember, I'll link it up here. Yes. <laughs> please do. Yeah. So you guys can go and watch it. Um, the zucchini here was marinated. Nice crunch. The zucchini has a crunch. Small. Because <laughs> we don't like our zucchini all mushy. So... Cooked but firm, tender but firm. Yes. So it has a little bite. Um, as I was saying, the zucchini was marinated in um, some olive oil, lemon juice, salt, pepper, things of that nature. <laughs> Keep it flavorful. Yeah. The chicken is good too. Mm-hmm. Took a bite of it. I did. Just two bites. <laughs> I did that. Yeah, you did that. No, I seasoned it. Teamwork. So, I think I get what seventy percent of the credit. Mm -hmm. It's all about the flavor. How much credit do I get? Look, happy wife, happy marriage. So I had to say yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're funny. How's the tomatoes? I know you love tomatoes. This guy could eat tomatoes like an apple. <laughs> That's how much he loves them. Well seasoned. Good Thank job. you. Thank you. Put some on the side. Getting better every day. What? What did you just say? I'm getting better every day. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> You know, I've been a boss. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I am not new to this game. Mm. You can really taste the garlic and the tomatoes. You guys, if you're not a fan of garlic, leave it out. Um, if you're gonna put basil in here, to me, basil's kind of strong, so you don't wanna put too much. Mm. It is real delicious. Wow. Guys, I have a question for you guys. What do you guys prefer? Restaurant food or food truck food? Comment below. What's your preference? Which way would you go? prefer to go? Um, I don't know. Aren't restaurant, I mean, aren't food trucks pretty much like <coughs> a restaurant on wheel? <laughs> You're right. Sorry. <coughs> yeah. See, that's what happens you when you talk the food in your mouth. <coughs> Um, the juices from that tomato, <clears throat> yeah. But um, aren't rest uh, food trucks like restaurant on wheels? Well, we know I'm asking which which is the preference. But to me, they're one and the same. 
Boom. Okay, but the food tastes different from one to the other. You think so? Mm-hmm. Definitely. I mean, I like the idea of a sit-down restaurant. Mm -hmm. Going in, sitting down, having someone serve you. I would say a restaurant. I think it also depends on the occasion. Mm -hmm. I'm saying I can't take a romantic date to a food truck. You know what I'm saying? No, we're not doing that. <laughs> no. Can't do it. Mm -mm. Well, what's your preference? I think food truck. Why? The, it's, you, you get better flavor, better um, feeling, more authentic, better, you know, just more homey, more rustic. <coughs> Do you feel, <coughs> is it because I'm, a food truck is probably like fresher food and a restaurant may have to like pre-prepare? Exactly, you have to wait long, you know. To, okay. Stuff, some stuff might have been cooked like a day ahead or something mm -hmm. for a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Food right, they have to be, you know, mm -hmm. fresh every day. Yeah. <clears throat> I see your point there. <clears throat> I think the food truck you spend, like, for the, for the owners themselves, mm -hmm. I think they spend less money when it comes to a food truck than when you own a restaurant. Well, yeah. <clears throat> If you do, if you do your maths, you know, <laughs> you know, you know, analyzing your, you know, everything, you'll see that that's how it is. Yeah. People that own a, a restaurant decide to go into restaurant business. They spend a lot more money than people that decide to open a food truck. Yeah, because they gotta pay rent. What do you do for a food truck? The gas, for the drive, the gas for the thing in the back. I forgot what it's called. Um, to buy the equipment to put inside the truck, the food you need to buy every day. That's it. Nothing else. You want to buy the lean to buy the little things, you know, like the utensils, the place, whatever little thing you need to, go to give to the customer, napkins, but that's it. That's, you know, when it comes to a restaurant, you spend thousands of dollars. I mean, I mean you might spend thousands, like, a thousand, like, you know, small and you know, lower thousands for the food truck, but for a restaurant, high thousands. I suppose. I mean, Obviously, the food truck. Well, some food trucks actually do better than some restaurants, so. Mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna say food wise they spend less, but um, overhead when it comes to like. A restaurant's, a restaurant's obviously gonna spend more because they have to pay rent. A food truck does not have to pay rent. They may have to pay like, a, you know, financing or whatever for the, for the vehicle, mm -hmm. and which is yeah. not gonna equivalent the cost of rent. Mm -hmm. And um, if you stay in a certain spot, that spot might charge you. That's one thing. And less employees. Because you can't fill a bunch of employees in the, into the, the whatever size truck you why, have. Why are we talking about food truck versus restaurant? Well, no. no my point is to see what bring up to see what kind of food people, people prefer. But now I'm just thinking about, you know, also people that own them, you know, restaurant and, and truck. Mm -hmm. You know, it'd be much better to go towards the food truck route than the restaurant. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's different options. You can always always go to, go to a nice big restaurant, or you can go to like a takeout only, you know, restaurant. Are you thinking about opening a food truck or a restaurant? Am I? I thought we were. I thought I was planning the future. Oh really? I don't know how I feel about that one. It's in talks. <laughs> that's how we go. Um, you're trying to convince me. He's trying to talk me into making that our goal. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Help me. Come on, guys. Because mm -mm. I'm over here wondering, like, why are we talking about this random topic? <laughs> mm -mm. Come on, guys. I need help. Come on. Let's make it happen. You're going to need to step up your skills in the kitchen, brother. I'm being what they call the front of the house. Excuse me? <laughs> mm -mm. I'll be for the house advertising. <laughs> and got me slaving away in the back, huh? And the other people that we get. You're fine. So, 
starting a restaurant business is no joke. Or mm -hmm. any food service business yeah, for that exactly. matter. These tomatoes are fine. It's, it's in discussion. And you, you guys help. I'm not playing with them, guys. I'm not playing with them. So you're saying it's not true? That's true for you. So you're lying to people. You're lying to people. Because you know it's been told. I'm not lying to anyone. I'm not convinced yet. Let's just say that. Oh my God, you see the food that this one puts out. The mean, the, you know. Did you just want me this one? Okay. You guys, you see the, the food that Miss Ziggy puts out. How can you, would you guys not go to a restaurant or, and, and, and buy it, you know, and taste this food? Come on. Come on, guys. This will make a good single sandwich. Mm-hmm. Really well. Look at the grilled um, chicken salad sandwich. Look at mayo, chicken, um, lettuce, tomato. I would have to like a nice it. Nice vinaigrette on top. I would like it in a wrap. Ooh, a burrito. Not a burrito, in a wrap. Like a, yeah, wrap. A grilled chicken wrap. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you could even put all of this in a wrap, like cut up the, the chicken really small, the zucchini, mm -hmm. you know, tomatoes, maybe add some lettuce. A fajita too. Some um, feta cheese mm -hmm. and make it into a really nice Mediterranean wrap. Ooh, yeah, you see what I'm saying? You hear it coming out mo. Come on, come on guys. Let me just stop talking. Business, business, business. We have customers, they are famous for customers. Guys, come below. Would you gonna come by and support us huh? and buy old food? I know you guys would. Come all the way to San Antonio. I got some food. When you build it, they will come. <laughs> okay. I believe that. The Italy is a zucchini already? Mm hmm. Oh my god. That was fast. Mm. And we just have some um, water on the side, guys. Yes. You know what we, we should try to do? You know, um, Ziggy, clean the Ziggy? Um, some jerk chicken. You think that's possible or no? What? We should do some jerk ju chicken. A grilling with Ziggy? Yeah, what do you think? Oh, yeah, sure. Think it's possible? You're going to be grilling it. Not me. But yeah, the chef, you know about season magazine if it's possible to on that on that grill so it should be or it's better. Uh-huh. Oh. Definitely. Definitely. Guys, Miss Ziggy here, she can cook, she can bake. She can you know home food, international foods, anything. Come on guys. You know? Yeah, no reason why we shouldn't go. Go where? The business restaurant route. Where are we going? Come on. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing right now. I don't know why she's acting like this. Like I'm making stuff up. I don't see you making anything up. It's just that I'm not like saying this. I'm not 100% on board. I don't know what I mean. I'm surprised. I'm shocked. Like, who are you right now? Don't act like you don't know how I felt about this all along. I feel it's a lot of work, and I don't know if I'm mentally prepared. Guys, come on. I need help to convince her. Come on. Come on. You can barely boil water. How are you going to help me in the kitchen? I'm not sure. You're a bald face lie. What can you do? Hmm? What can you do in the kitchen? Everything. Such and as? I can't do what you do. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I'll be in front of a house. I'll be a sous, I'll be, I can be a sous chef. I can be a, a marketing. Yeah, it's all You good. don't have to slave yourself in the kitchen. You have the people you can train, you can teach, you can help you. Okay. 
I see you got this all figured out, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Our fans, our YouTube subscribers will be our customers. <laughs> when you build it, they will come. Build it and they will come. You build it, you spread the word, and they shall come. That's what he said. I'm moving kind of full. You want to rest my zucchini? You guys like zucchini. I feel like... Guys, look at that. Perfection. I feel like zucchini is... Kind of an underrated vegetable, right? I feel like it's not used a lot. And it should definitely be used more. Zucchini and eggplant, I feel it's underrated. <coughs> Sorry. All right, let me leave you some of the rest of the tomatoes. And he's probably just gonna put this up and drink all that marinade. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not only can she cook and, and bake, but she, can, but she can also make some delicious drinks. I'll tell you. Name it, she can make it. She can throw it down. All right, guys. So I'm going to wrap this up. I'm getting kind of full. I'm feeling peer pressured. <laughs> I don't know who she is today. I swear. I don't know who she is. I'm Being feeling all negative and all surprised. I feel like I'm being bullied. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. That's not true, guys. I feel like I'm being coerced. <laughs> guys, come on, jump on board. Come on, let me support. So, we're going to wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> guys, thank you so much for being part of our family. I don't need your support. Come on. I'm going to be great. But seriously, <laughs> thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, what are you waiting for? Um, comment below, hit the bell, please. You can be notified when you hit, post a video. Comment below, let's communicate. I need your support. And share with everyone and... Anyone. I mean anyone, we say anyone. Neighbor, classmate, at work, anyone you see in the street. Just let them know about us. When you have some free time, downtime, just lay back, put on YouTube and watch our videos. We have a bunch of videos in our library. You know, we need your support, we need the hours, we need this, you know, more family to grow, we need more subs. I'm saying we need to get it together. I'm saying right now we like this, we need to make the family grow like this. Let's make it happen, you see? Stick together. Love you guys. Mwah. 20 million dollars, 20 mil, house on the hill, a Lamborghini in the driveway, fly first class both ways.